two amazing guests tonight. We have, uh, if you know, the book uh, Sapiens. We have Juval Noah Harari is here with his new book, Unstoppable Us. Ooh. And uh, before that, though, we have a force of nature mm -hmm. in and of himself. Mm -hmm. RuPaul will be out here in just a moment. Ooh. That's quite lovely. And what? special announcement right now. This is breaking news. The Late Show will be live this Thursday after Biden's State of the Union. Do join us because... When we're live and I f up, we can't change it. Like, bleep, <laughs> like bleeping the word f up. It's uh -huh. exciting. Folks, if you watch the show, you know I spend most of my time right over there sourcing the day's finest news cotton, then weaving the most topical stripe motif into the fluid texture of the fabric on my story loom and hand cutting and tailoring it with a provocative femininity and adding a canvas drawstring and knit logo to create for you the delicate yet iconic Mew Mew Jacquard Pongé boxer shorts <laughs> that are my nightly monologue. But sometimes, just, just sometimes, folks, I am spat naked out of a runoff sluice after passing out in a sewage treatment plant then stumbled through a derelict construction site where I ripped the tarp off a cement mixer and yanked a discarded kite string out of the teeth of an abandoned snowblower so I can gird my loins with the scrap heap banana hammock of news that is my segment. Meanwhile. Oh. Right there. That is palliative care. <laughs> Meanwhile. In Nashville, a Christian nightclub has opened where there's no twerking, no drinking, and no smoking, but they do demand you dress well. As the organizers put it, when you pull up, we expect to see you in your holiest drip. <laughs> oh, I gotta hit this place up. As a Catholic, we know how to arrive in the holiest of drips, okay? <laughs> the Bishop of Riz, the servant of God's being served <laughs> I'm just saying that the Pope is fully snatched. <laughs> Meanwhile... <laughs> Meanwhile, in breaking cookie news, Oreo will debut two new flavors inspired by mud pie and tiramisu. Why? <laughs> Why? Oreos don't need new flavors. They're already the perfect combination of chocolate and shame. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dune 2 star and friend of the show, Rebecca Ferguson, has internet sleuths abuzz. You see, on a recent podcast, she alluded to an old colleague saying, I did a film with an absolute idiot of a co-star, and this human being was being so insecure and angry that I got screamed at and I would cry walking off set, which caused the internet to explode with speculation about who that co-star could be. But... You know, Rebecca and I are besties. And I'm in the biz, so I already know. Kind of an open secret that this person is a moody, unstable jackwad. Of course, I'm talking about Rebecca Ferguson's 2019 co-star from Men in Black International, Pawnee the Tiny Alien Warrior. <laughs> Apologize, you bastard. I swear to God, I will shove you up a horse, you little suppository. What am I doing here? What was I talking about? Anyway. <laughs> Meanwhile, in massive red flag news, a tech worker wore Apple's creepy Vision Pro headset during his wedding photo, much to his wife's dismay. <laughs> I assume uh, he got them so he can experience an artificial reality where he's still married. <laughs> Meanwhile. Meanwhile. Okay. For one day only here in New York, Rockefeller Plaza will be renamed Olivia Benson Plaza in honor of the 25th anniversary of the show Law and Order SVU. 100%. 100%. It's the biggest TV character takeover of a New York landmark since the 80s renaming of the Alf Pyre State Building. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, news from the world of baseball where the Philadelphia Phillies are scrapping their $1 hot dog nights following unruly fan behavior <laughs> after the field was sullied because fans began chucking their meat during a game. <laughs> hey, come on, you can't blame anyone for chucking their meat <laughs> when the Philly fanatic keeps flaunting all that junk in the trunk.
Meanwhile, the diner booth from the final season of Sopranos is up for auction on eBay. Now, now people are making a lot of easy jokes about this, but there's a lot to unpack here. And some may have strong opinions because they're so emotionally invested, but I believe... <laughs> Meanwhile, in Mexican volcano news, Mexico's Popocatepetl volcano, and I trust I'm mispronouncing that correctly, erupted 13 times in one day, and Mexico's National Disaster Prevention Center, quote, urged people not to try to climb it. <laughs> well, yeah. Do you really need to tell people not to climb the active volcano that erupted 13 times today? Do you also need signs warning people do not stick penis into beehive? <laughs> we'll be right back with RuPaul.